Hello and welcome. I'm Robot Genie, and we are here playing Queen in Europa Universalis 4, where we're about to take a ton of provinces from Ming. Uh, because for some for some reason they're all super duper cheap, and uh, it'd be nice to kill these particularists. And I don't think I'm needed here anymore to help the Oriot Horde. Fingers crossed. Let's come back over here. I think they're probably in good shape now because they're not overextended anymore and, and all that. Uh, we, we don't both need to be sieging this province. Probably give the, the zoo a bunch of land and then when they're uh, done coring it, I'm gonna integrate them. Yeah, it's about time to, that I integrated them. Then I can make new vessels. Here I am waiting. For, I'm just waiting for uh, these cores to finish coring, so I can take like as much land as possible. <laughs> Timurids left military coalition against me. That's that's nice. We'll go attack them and give give all the Timurid land to the Oriot Horde. Go do that, <laughs> and then. Uh, Overextend the crap out of these guys again. Oh yeah, look, we can even view their unrest. And it's not that bad anymore. They get a little bit of unrest. But nothing, nothing too bad. Hmm. I got call for peace. I just want these cores to finish. There we go. Okay, good. Those cores finished. So now let's. We'll give all of these provinces to the zoo. So. Let's see. All of that to them. And then I want this, this, this. This, 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 this. 192. Yeah, I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just take that. I'm like sad that I can't take, take even more. I could. I, I'm, I'm scared at what would happen though. Oh, I can make them pay war reparations. Or I could just make them not do anything else, and then the we would have a. Wait, what? What? I can make them my vassal? Really? Are you serious? They're not. They're not too big. What? They would accept this? I can make them my vassal? Really? Oh, well then I don't then I'm not gonna go for a hundred percent overextension. Why would I do that? Why would I even It's like no reason to do much of this. I don't even really need to to give the 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 zoo the zoo these provinces here. Like why? 
<laughs> why why do that when Ming already has cores on them? They can just be my vassal. No way. I can just vassalize them like that? Yeah. Ming will become a vassal. Okay. Is it because they're like totally broken or something? I don't know. I'm not going to read too much into it, but uh, I am going to take the provinces I have claims on. And uh, yeah, just do that. Okay, so Ming is apparently now my vessel. That's really good. Oh. I think it's because they were all so easy to take because the local autonomy is at 100%. And so really the only thing I, yeah, and I can vet, the reason I can vassalize them is because they only have a little bit of base tax, which is not local autonomy. So their, their effective base tax was super, super low, even though they had all these provinces because they were broken by rebels so hard interesting that is so that so that's a that's a tactic is to break a country with rebels get their local autonomy super low or, or very high I guess get their local autonomy very high and then just just come in and vassalize them <laughs> I like that okay so now we need <laughs> we totally need to improve relations with these guys Wow But now we can return like all of all of these lands. <laughs> like here, 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 down here, down here. Like Ming has cores everywhere. Yeah, look at all those cores. And uh we're gonna we're gonna recover them for them. Wow, that is awesome. Oh yeah, that's right. Overextension and stuff. Uh, we need to kill this guy. Let's just take care of some of these rebels. Yeah, let's just move these guys around. Um, I guess, yeah, morale of armies. Do that. Okay, we can do diplomatic technology. So we'll do that. Um... Right, we need to improve relations here. Um, we can just integrate these guys. Just annex them. Some improve relations with the Oriate Horde, just so they like me more. Wow, five. 562 at 3 per month is going to take forever. Oh, my! I have extra diplomatic reputation too. Something's telling me that... Why is it only at... Oh, wow. I, I have an annex subject. Uh, until 1602. I guess that lasts for a little while. Now, I don't want to royal marriage them again because I'm going to attack them. Yeah, let's get more ideas here. Let's let's, let's save Ming from uh, from the terrible hell I've created for them. Oh, the autonomy is. <laughs> Their autonomy is now getting better. Poor Ming. Poor, poor Ming. I almost feel bad. Alright, let's unsiege. <laughs> Just... Just unsiege more stuff. And then eventually we can go to war. And get Ming's cores back. Alright. 
they're building army again and they're they're doing all this stuff. It's good. Good for them. Ah, Castile is telling us about cotton imports. Oh, I can see over here now. Interesting. I wonder when that happened. Um, but okay, so the Teutonic Order's there. Uh, Poland, poor Poland. Oh jeez, look what happened to Poland. Yeah, Poland always had high, high revolt, a lot of revolts. So they, they probably just got broken up like crazy by revolts. They got Mazovia. Mazovia probably got integrated then reappeared. Yeah, Poland is uh, destroyed. Hungary is has lost some stuff. Uh, Venice is doing okay. Austria looks gross as always. And we get Sweden over there. England has not taken over Scotland. And France isn't really doing anything too crazy. So yeah, there's nothing really out of the ordinary over there. What's really out of the ordinary is is Russia not um not going crazy. They're actually losing a war here. No, they're winning. Yeah, they're winning. I don't know. I'll, I could get on the attack Russia bandwagon. I don't want them to get big later. That spells disaster for me. Not disaster, but I'd rather them not not be bigger. All right, Castile. I don't I don't really care about your developments and, and doing whatever. Oh, Castile's all the way over here already. Interesting. Oh no. That guy entered into a military coalition against me. Probably because I stole his stuff. It's going to take a long time to uh, get the autonomy out of all these provinces. That's alright. We got, we got a lot of... Uh, we conquered a lot of the really good provinces around here ourselves. So that's, that's good. And all that autonomy is... Is going down. We even own parts of Korea that has pretty decent autonomy, so. Okay. Now we got all of these new peasants to kill. Why, hello, peasants. Yep, let's just. Kill all the peasants, kill all the peasants. Oh, yeah, I should revoke this embargo. Vassalizing Ming, 98 power projection points. <laughs> I've totally maxed that one out. Um, oh, we don't have any free diplomats. Oh, uh... Look at this, this is absurd. I can I can rival the Oriate Horde, which is my marsh. Yet yeah, no. <laughs> what? How is that even an option? That that is a bug. <laughs> that would be kinda of funny. Uh, I wonder if they then break vassalage try to break vassalage or something. Uh yeah. This is what I've been wanting. Optimism, monthly war exhaustion, minus 0.05. That'll be helpful. And the advisor cost down will be helpful too. Uh, I would like to gain one base tax, please. All right, let's go to war for some of Ming's core. Who is in the coalition against me, anyway? There's a coalition against me, but who is part of it? Oh, it's just them. They're it. They are the coalition. Ah. Oh, that's right. We don't have any, um... 
don't have any, any diplomats. Let's get a diplomat. Yeah, we'll, we'll declare this guy a co-belligerent. Uh, I don't want to call you into the war. No, I don't want I don't want him in the war. Um, yeah, sure. Any of these reconquista things uh, should be fine. Then let's let's march this guy over here, this guy over here. No, I, just let me select the guy that's not going anywhere. And this guy over here. This will be a quick war. Yeah, religion changing to Buddhism, that's fine. Yep, let's get all, let's get Ming all those cores back. <laughs> it is going to take a long time to integrate Ming when it comes around to that. A long time. Like, look at, look at the zoo here. I mean, they, they <laughs> who is this? Who's Ava? Oh, they're down there. I mean, it's going to, it's taking forever to integrate them. Or annex them, and oh well, five diplomatic power per month. I mean, it's still like a hundred months though. But yeah, it's gonna take a long time to integrate them, and they're only gonna be like a third or a fourth the size of ultimately when I integrate. When I integrate Ming, that'll be crazy, and it'll be a ton, a ton of, a lot of really bad autonomy provinces. But uh, we'll deal with it. Because we gotta, we have enough provinces with enough local autonomy to, to basically do what we want now. We have enough money and enough manpower to conquer everyone in the region. And even if a European power comes and tries to threaten us right now, we we probably fight and win that war. So I'm not too concerned. Alright, so, so we did this, now, now what if I, what I gotta do is I gotta give it all, all these occupations to Ming. I don't like how if I accidentally select the wrong vassal, I can't then change it again. That sh that kind of should be fixed. Okay, so we did that, and now we're not going to be able to full annex because of this, because of the way this is this happened. We're not going to be able to do a full annex. That's all right. We'll come in war against them one more time after this, and to get this last province from Ming. So that's just how it has to work. Yeah, for some reason it won't allow you to do a full annexation uh, for someone else, for one of your vassals. But it, it will if that's the only province left. I like how these guys are not realizing that it's an issue. Um, oh, look at this! There's no, there's no negative modifier for starting the war just, just a while ago. They'll join your war at any point now. Huh. That is, that is interesting. Oh, I could just offer them vassal, vassalization. I might do that. That seems easier. To just, if I just vassalize these guys, then I can integrate them separately outside of Ming and, um... Yeah, then I don't have to deal with extra warring and anything like that. So I, I think I'm gonna do that. And then I then I can integrate it in parts. <laughs> integrate 
what is Ming and Parks rather than having it all as one thing. So I can just integrate these guys in 10 years. So I'm gonna do that. Let's return the guy improving relations with Ming and, and just improve relations here to get a vassal. Um, let's change over the occupation on these. Yeah, it's too bad I can't. Yeah, it's too bad that I can't get this one, too. Oh well, there will be, there'll be one more war where these single province guys will be taken out. That's, uh, that's just how it's gonna have to go. Alright, I can probably just pro Let's just proclaim a guarantee, and then vassalize them. So we're over the relationship limit, right? No, 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 we're not, because we already had relations with them. So we're not over the relationship limit. Okay, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that'll be the end of this episode. So check it out. Wow, that's that's great. We, uh, we own the Chinese region now, for sure. But yeah, that's it for this episode. So if you're liking this series, make sure to like and or subscribe. I'll see you next time. Later.